my channel. In this video, I'm going to cook this butternut squash using the leftover drumstick chicken. See how big the drumstick chicken is so big, right? So keep on watching. We're going to cook now. Okay, these are the ingredients that I am using. One piece of butternut squash, three pieces of leftover drumsticks, one can of coconut milk, one piece of chili, one pack of baby spinach, one piece of onion, three cloves of garlic, salt and pepper to taste, olive oil and butter. So now let's put the butter. We need to pan fry the chicken. Now it's already, already melted. Okay, now let's put the chicken. The squash is halfway cooked, so let's put, put up the chicken. Stir, stir, stir them. Look at the color. Chili. 
just cover it in the simmer for a few minutes. So now let's check if it's ready. Now it's ready. So now let's add now let's add the spinach to have some greens. One minute because the spinach cooks so fast. So now let's check if the spinach is already cooked. Wow, look at that! So nice, the green, the yellow, and the coconut milk. So now it's ready. Let's just put it now in the And now, I would like to share with you the Word of God that comes from the book of John, chapter 6, verse 35, that says, Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. So, what does Jesus mean when he says, I am the bread of life? Well, simply put, he means that we will not be satisfied unless we know Jesus. And He is in our lives. We cannot survive in this world or the world to come without Jesus Christ. So guys, this is our finished product. The butternut coconut squash cooked with coconut milk and the leftover drumstick chicken. See how colorful it is? Thank you for cooking with me. I hope you like this video. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you'll be updated with my new video. Thank you for watching. Spread love.